All right, this is Grade 3, Module 2, Lesson 15, where we're going to be adding measurements using the standard algorithm, uh, and we may have to compose, we may have to carry, or borrow, uh, no, not borrow, carry, I like composing into larger units. Uh, but the idea about the standard algorithm, um, man, what's standard in one country versus standard in another, uh, it, it's a little tricky here. So uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, adhere to what I think most people are going to say are the, is the standard algorithm. Uh, but golly, uh, let's really operate from within the student's ability and um, be cognizant that students from other countries may add differently than we do. And ultimately, if they get the right answer, <clears throat> that's really the most powerful thing. And as long as they're also doing it from within a, a, a position of number sense. So let's get started. So this says, find the sums below, choose the mental math or the algorithm. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really focus on that algorithm, although I think occasionally I might give some mental math techniques. Um, so let's get going on this. So first we're going to do 75 centimeters plus 7 centimeters, and I'm going to label them. And then uh, 7 plus 5 is 12, so that's going to be a 12, carry the 1. And uh, Engage New York likes to put the one down here instead of the one going up here, uh, like like this traditional algorithm. <clears throat> so I think uh, finding the, uh, the word algorithm is a little uh, standard. I mean, the, the word standard algorithm is a little tricky because uh, it's not standard to put it down here, but enough nitpicking on my part. Let's just keep going. So then we have seven tens plus one ten gives us eight tens. So the answer is... 82 centimeters. Now it's possible. Let's do a quick mental math on this. Uh, students may decompose the 7 into 5 and 2, and then you would get 80 plus 2 is 82. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm always going to be sharing that mental math idea. Moving over here, we've got 283 grams plus 92 grams, and the first I'm going to use the standard algorithm. 3 plus 2 is 5, uh, 8 plus 9 is 17, so we're going to put the 7 here. I'm going to carry the 1 up here this time. Now we got 100 plus 200 is 300, so we have 375 grams, and there's your final answer. So in this problem, we have 75 students in grade 3. And uh, there are 44 more students in grade 4 than in grade 3. How many students are in grade 4? Use a tape diagram to model your thinking. So classically, when we use a tape diagram, and we have two subjects. In this case, we have third graders and fourth graders. So we have grade 3 and we have grade 4. We label them and we draw them both. We give them each the exact same length bar or tape. And so we give them the exact same length. And now we go back and reread the question. There are 75 students in grade 3. So we can label that. 75 goes right here. Then it says there are 44 more students in grade 4 than grade 3. So what that means is we need to extend the tape of the grade four kids, because there's supposed to be more fourth graders. In fact, there's 44 more students right there. And then the question is, how many students are in grade four? And so our, our question mark is going to go right here. <clears throat> so now, what do we need to do? Well, the first thing is, in order to figure out this fourth grade length, we know that this length here is 44. But what is this length here? It's 75. Why is it 75? Because when we drew these two subjects at the first time at, at the first in the first place, we drew the bars identically. We drew them specifically to be in identical lengths. And that grade three was 75, so that means this length right here is also 75, plus it got 44 bigger. It got bigger by 44. So now, in order to figure out how many fourth graders there are, we know we need to add 75 plus 44. We add them together. 5 plus 4 is 9. 7 tens 
plus 4 tens, so 70 plus 40 is 110. So now we have 119 is our answer. So there are 119 fourth graders. All right, in this example, <clears throat> Mr. Green's sunflower grew 29 centimeters in one week. The next week, it grew five centimeters more. Now, I got to confess here. <laughs> it grew five centimeters more. So, did it grow just five centimeters more, or did it grow five centimeters more than the previous week? I, I am never uh, clear on this sometimes. It depends on the wording, right? So, as the teacher... Golly, let the students interpret it one way or the other and move on. You, we don't have to nitpick and, and yell at the kids if they interpreted it one way and the book or you interpreted it another. Uh, to be honest, I'm just not sure. So I'm going to draw, draw, though, uh, the tape diagram, and I'm going to go first week and then the second week. And I'm going to make my tape diagram look like this. And I'm going to draw, in this case, I, man, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to interpret it just like the previous problem. That the second week, they're really saying it grew five centimeters more than the previous week. So the first week, it grew 29 centimeters the second week it grew five centimeters more than the first week. And so <clears throat> what is the total number of centimeters the sunflower grew in two weeks? So really, we want to know what's the total in two weeks. So we need to add this number 29, this number 5, and we have to include this number here. Well, what is this number here? Well, it's the same as the 29, because when I drew them, I drew the bars to be the exact same length. So this bar is 29. So in order to get the total, <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add 29 plus 5. 9 plus 5 is 14. So that's a 4, carry the 1. 3 and 1 is I mean, 2 and 1 is 34. So this total length here is 34 centimeters. And if I want to, I could put it in 34 centimeters. And now, in order to find the total, the total is both of these, so that's going to be 29 plus 34. So let's do that, and I don't know where I'm going to put it. Let's put it right over here. 29 plus 34. So 9 plus 4 is 13, so that's a 3, carry the 1. And then 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6. And so the, the total, how much did the thing grow in two weeks total, is 63 centimeters is the total growth. And that is Grade 3, Module 2, Lesson 15, uh, using tape diagrams, really, to practice that standard algorithm.